Uh, ladies and gentlemen, big football weekend. I do want to make mention something that we talked about yesterday. Mike McDonald did, in fact, take the head coaching, or excuse me, the defensive coordinator position job uh, for John Harbaugh and the Baltimore Ravens. He's 34 years old. He's the youngest defensive coordinator in the league, certainly the youngest defensive coordinator in the 26-year history of the Baltimore Ravens. Spent seven seasons with Baltimore before making the trek up to Ann Arbor last year in college and um, really working wonders with that defense. But, uh, Braylon, what do you make of Mike McDonald leaving the Michigan uh, football program? I think most of us thought that was always going to happen, but... We didn't think it was going to happen this soon. Yeah, and I think it was a situation where John Harbaugh sent McDonald down to the University of Michigan. He knew what he had in him in terms of his knowledge. He's been on the staff seven years. He trusted this guy, uh, recommended him to Jim. Jim liked the guy. He interviewed well, and he helped turn this team around. I mean, he had Aiden Hutchinson. He had David Ajabo and John Ross. But, I mean, Josh Ross. But you see what they were able to do. They learned different this year. They played different. They played at a higher clip. So, you know, if I'm John Harbaugh, and I'm watching my defense, who had some pieces missing this season. Marcus Peters was out with a torn ACL, a couple other absences on that defense. But I'm watching my defense struggle all season. Like, they really struggled in spots, and it was very noticeable. You know, they had to go to overtime a lot, rely heavily on Huntley, rely heavily on Lamar uh, Jackson as well. I, I did say that. But I'm watching as I'm John Harbaugh, and I see the success that this Michigan team is having. I'm seeing this team just completely turn around on defense. I'm taking notes each week. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking. I'm saying, hey, you know what? Maybe it was a test. Maybe John was sending him down there to get right, give him a little bit of experience. Maybe it was an agreement. It's like, hey, Jim, I'm going to send you this guy. I want him to be our defensive coordinator, but I need to vet him. I think he can help your situation out. But when he's ready, I'm going to need him back. Now, to your point, I don't think he knew it was going to be one year. But I think this was something that they put together, and he always was going to go back. But he had such a good year. John Harbaugh didn't have that good year on the defensive mm -hmm. side. He said, hell, <laughs> excuse me. Let me go ahead and get that world situation right back. Uh, not only that, he's going to have a lot of intimate knowledge on what defensive players possibly are out there for the Ravens. I mm -hmm. mean, who knows? Maybe David Ajabo will be a Raven. Yeah, I don't know if he'll nah, get – I, I don't think he's going to last that long. But I will tell yeah. you this, as it, re up. as it relates to the University of Michigan now, yeah. and I wish I would give the uh, gentleman credit who said the name on Twitter, but I think if you're the University of Michigan, there's one guy you should strongly consider. I'm, I'm waiting. Larry Foote Jr. as the next defensive coordinator for the University of Michigan. A.K.A. Luther. That's what we used to call him. I mean, he, in it's another yeah. Tampa Bay Buccaneer uh, guy that would run out of there. I, I, Steelers I, I, guy. Well, it, it's 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 an interesting name to consider because it almost falls in line like that Mike McDonald mold. Somebody who's spent years in the NFL coaching and yeah. developing and, and becoming a coach. Now it's time for Larry Foote to take that yeah. next step and be elevated to a coordinator as well. Now, again, there's family situations, too. You just don't know if, if you know, wives would be willing to leave, if kids want to leave. But, you know, he, he played in Pittsburgh. He spent time coaching in Arizona and now ultimately in Tampa. Quality yeah. of life, you don't know um, if he's more than content doing that or not. But I think Larry Foote is a name that Jim Harbaugh should certainly uh, consider as the next defensive coordinator for Michigan. I love that. I love that idea. I I love that for so many reasons. Larry Foote is one of the most Detroit individuals I've ever met. Mm -hmm. He's born, he's from Detroit, born in Detroit, raised in Detroit. He went to the University of Michigan. He claims Detroit. Detroit's tattooed on his body somewhere. I think it's on his arm, if I remember correctly. He loves Detroit. Pershing High School guy. Like he breathes the city of Detroit. Mm -hmm. He breathes 313. Now you bring him back. It goes with the narrative and the theme that we were talking about. Bringing guys back that have been there, that have experience. Mm -hmm. Mike Hart had a lot of college coaching experience before he came to Michigan. Ron Bellamy had a lot of success coaching at the high school level. Uh, West Bloomfield High School won the states with Donovan Edwards at running back. Now you bring in Larry Foote, guy that played at Michigan, played under Lloyd Carr from Detroit, uh, played for the Steelers, played for the Cardinals, been to Super Bowls, won Super Bowls, now has been in the NFL. <clears throat> Excuse me with the Cardinals, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on their coach respective coaching staffs, won a Super Bowl last mm -hmm. year. That is invaluable, bringing him in, if he would accept the job. Yeah. But I know he's married now. He has two kids now. He has not been back to Detroit in terms of living in a Detroit sure. setting with his family. That might be something he wants to explore as well, coming back home and letting his kids grow up around Detroit. It's uh, definitely an interesting possibility, Mass. 
Uh, I already reached out to him. So oh, let's, you did? <laughs> let's, see, let's see if he calls back. Oh, that, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, I just I, I, I saw that name in, in – in, um, I'm sorry for the gentleman that suggested well, Haroon, it. Haroon, our guy, retweeted it to us. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah. there was another kid okay, that, yeah. that did mention uh, it. Just – just an interesting name, and and if you look at that Michigan coaching staff with you know Gaddis, Hart, Bellamy, Foot, Moore, I yeah. mean that does sound come good. Come on, man, that does sound good. And, and and again with McDonald on the move, it seems like Alabama has a new OC in DC yeah. every year. When you are good in college, teams come a calling. You know, I yeah. mean, this is always an expectation, and and I don't know how long it's going to take before uh, Gaddis gets a look, or Hart gets a look, or Bellamy gets a look somewhere else yeah. and makes that next step. I think Ron, I think uh, I think Temple actually already came after Mike, if I'm not, if I remember, if I remember correctly, right before, right after the Iowa win, I believe Temple did come call in Mike's door, so they're already coming out. You know, what we didn't really do we did as the season went on for University of Michigan, especially after. The Iowa win, you know, before the Georgia win. And I don't think we talked about enough in that space of the Big Ten Championship and the Orange Bowl. We didn't talk about what if in terms of the next season for the University of Michigan. I think we were so happy that they were back, that they won, they beat Ohio State, that they beat Iowa, that they were in the playoffs. We didn't assess what they would be next year just in terms of the losses. Mm -hmm. Like losing the D-line coach, that was tremendous. You mm -hmm. see what that D-line was able to do last year. Losing McDonald now who revamped our defense. We've had good defenses in the past, but never defenses that can play multiple looks and do different things and still have that success. You know, you lose David Ojabo, you lose Aiden Hutchinson, you lose two offensive linemen. Like, it's it's an interesting situation. And now I'm thinking about it with Jim Harbaugh. Like, that's why Jim's probably trying to clamor and to get out. It's a lot of insecurities and unknowns as it relates to going into August of this year. Well, speaking of Jim Harbaugh clawing to get out, it does not appear that that job will be the Las Vegas Raiders because the Raiders may have their guy and it's somebody we talked about three weeks ago or two weeks ago. Yep. We'll have that for you coming up next. Armani and Edwards. Boomer Sports Network on a beautiful Friday. It's the bottom line.